All right, guys, so Alexia Murano just put out a video the other day. And it's titled that she just snuck into her ex-boyfriend's house. But there's a ton of lies in this video. And there's a lot more people involved in her lives, including her immediate family. I'm shocked. My mind is blown that she's mocking abuse victims. Uh, mocking the whole entire story of the fact that she claims to have been uh, treated that way by MJ Station. And we'll be getting into that on today's video. But let's go ahead and smash 200 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. And if you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter at Real Gotta Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys. Now, uh, Alexia Morano starts out her story and her video with her mother and her brother in the car. So her brother's clearly been wanting to be on her channel, wanting to be part of the spotlight. So I think that's pretty cool. Nonetheless, what this is showing me is she's now got her brother and her mother in on the lies. And we'll get into that. She starts out the video by saying, OK, I left my sunglasses, my designer sunglasses at my ex-boyfriend's house, playing it as off as if it's actually I'm J Station himself. She, As if she would list I'm J Station's number as ex-boyfriend. Mitchell, please don't rustle anything. Just I don't want to interfere with the noise. Thank you. And so as if she's actually taken away Jason Ethier's name and put it as ex-boyfriend. No one really does that, first of all. Second of all, if she were to text him and say, hey, can I come over or can I drop off a bag, which she says is the plan, he wouldn't go for it. He'd say, what? What's going on? You're turning me into the police. I'm going to jail. I've got a court date on March 16th. I'm, I, you can't come over, blah, blah, blah. But instead, her ex-boyfriend says, yeah, come on over with the suitcase that you need to drop off, which she never explains as to why she even needs to drop it off. And then she says that she's going to be hiding inside the suitcase. And her mother then goes to lie for her, saying, she's in the suitcase. She needs to stop wiggling around. I'm going to drop her off at his front doorstep. Text him to come get her, or sorry, to get the bag, and she'll be hiding in the bag. And then as if him bringing the bag in wouldn't notice how heavy it is, one, and then two, not unzip it, and her somehow being able to unzip herself, which is impossible because a zipper only is on the outside. Mm -hmm. Mitchell, please have respect so I can do this video. Silence okay. is very important. So I'm looking good. You look good, yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, I just needed that. So supposedly the, the bag was in, in the home with her inside and she was magically able to unzip herself. That's when she goes into the kitchen with her video camera, showing herself going through a bunch of areas and saying, oh no, I hear a noise. She then pretends as if she's made it all the way upstairs, filming him in his room from a crack in the door, which he would clearly see. So that doesn't make much sense. And then... She eventually claims to find the sunglasses in a drawer. But once again, keep in mind, at this point, she's shown her ex-boyfriend in the house and she's shown him having hair. Jay Station doesn't have hair. In her thumbnail, she shows a guy that doesn't have hair as if to play it off as if it's I'm Jay Station. So we already know she's clearly tricking her audience, once again, mocking victims of what she claims to have gone through only playing down her own story of what happened, almost by saying, and her mother being in on this as well, showing that they're all a bit scummy, saying, oh, it's okay what I've been through. I'm locking him up. I'm getting revenge. He made 50K on Dream Team. I didn't get a penny. I'm now going to make it on YouTube. As I said before, she's no less scummy than Jay himself when it came to to the girlfriend D-E-A-T-H prank. She's, she was 100% in on it, just like Jay. So is she any butter? I don't know, you tell me down below, but I don't think so. Nonetheless, she's here mocking victims now, mocking her own story as if to play it down, to pretend as if and trick people into clicking on a video to think she actually went into her ex-boyfriend's home, when it's clearly not her ex-boyfriend's home, it's not Jay's home, whether it be someone else she knew or not, I don't know. Clearly, it's either an Airbnb or a friend's house that she's allowing, that she's being allowed to film in. The guy has hair, so we know it's not Jay. And then she gets some girl to play in the film 
as if to come over to her ex-boyfriend Jay's house, saying, oh my golly, I can't believe he's moved on already, and then filming them at the top of the stairs where they could clearly see her. When obviously if she was trying to hide and film secretively, she wouldn't be standing straight at the top of the stairs filming down towards them. That's when she finds the, her ex-boyfriend's phone around the room after she finds the sunglasses she says she left there and has been looking for, even though it's obvious that she went to the Airbnb or the friend's house, placed some sunglasses in the drawer, and then claimed that those are the designer glasses that she had left there before. So she finds the phone and says, oh no, if he's been hiding the girl from me that he's now with, what else has he been hiding from me? Let me check in the phone. But magically, conveniently, she drops the phone. Phone falls to the floor. That's when shortly after that, ex-boyfriend comes up in the room to find his phone on the floor, yelling out, oh no, I believe someone's in our home. Getting his new girlfriend's attention, freaking her out, and then conveniently, as it is staged and as, as Alexia had planned, the ex-girlfriend leaves the house saying, oh, if somebody's here, I don't want to be here. She's done this and she's planned this and she's staged this so that she can easily get out of the house and have an excuse as to why and how she is able to secretively sneak out of the home without her ex-boyfriend ever seen it, seeing her. She then goes out to the car where her mother is waiting on her. Let's say it was real. Her mother would be committing a crime of helping her and allowing her to trespass and burglarize another person's home. There's no proof that those were her glasses or weren't her glasses. Her brother also being in on this as an accessory. Nonetheless, I don't believe, of course, that this was real. I believe it was staged. Of course, they would say the same things to police if police confronted them about this. And now that I'm making this video, I know Alexia's watching, I know Jay Station's watching, the word may get out that she has broken into his house, an ex-boyfriend's home or someone else's house. The police may very well investigate, and of course, they will come out with the truth, which is what I'm explaining to you. I just think it's really pathetic that her mother would stoop to this level, proving that she hasn't raised her daughter any better than the scum that they were before when they did that other prank, which has garnered them massive amounts of negative attention recently, forced her off on a whole nother tangent of doing her own things on her own channel, leaving Jay, and then saying, screw it all, let me do a publicity stunt, almost gutsy and as risky as Jay did before, and pretend as if I'm committing a crime, going into my ex-boyfriend's house, everyone thinks it's Jay, right? Because she's got the face blurred the entire time, not being truthful, not being honest, tricking people into believing I actually don't have the PTSD or the TRAMA that people believe that I have from Jay himself and the way he treated me, mocking the situation, making a joke of it, being okay with going back in his vicinity, contacting him, him again, and then committing a crime going on his property. Well, guys, he's going to jail. So if she really, truly did go on his property, he would have to contact police. He would have to get her in trouble, and she would simply be in jail with him. And, she, and he would have to fear, while he's in jail, on his March 16th court date, probably he's going to be in there 30 days plus, he'd have to be afraid of her going into his home again. Now, of course, once again, I don't believe that she actually went into Jay's home. I believe she's a staged prank liar. I believe her mother is as well. I believe her brother's in and on as, in and on as well. I don't know her brother very well, so I don't know if he's quite as scummy as the two of them. But clearly she takes after her mother. If her mother's going to play in on this as well. It blew my mind. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of Morgs. Because Morgs is a huge liar, prankster, stager, whatever gets his two parents on it, makes millions, and Alexia thinks she can do the same. So I think that's pretty scummy. I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Of course, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm extremely disgusted by the person Alexia has become. And, become, and in my opinion, this just once again proves to all of us that she was in on that whole death prank of a girlfriend before, that she ever so claims that she wasn't in on and that, to me, is pathetic and proves that she is no better than Jay himself. So, guys, tweet at me. 
send me a message on Instagram, whatever you can do when you see people like this out here making staged videos to mock actual victims. Of course, guys, as always, I will keep you up to date. And thank you so much for watching.